hi angels. I think it's very clear from the purple fringe that we are doing a purple video. I think eggplant's super misunderstood. A lot of times for people, it's like a texture thing. What we're gonna do is gonna completely change that narrative for you. Come look at this eggplant. Come in here and look at this. We've got some eggplant that's seen some better days. We'll talk about that. We've got some Japanese eggplant. We've got some fairy tale eggplant here. We've got some Italian eggplant. We've got all varieties of eggplant. We're gonna do two different cooking in the oven methods. We're gonna roast it and then we're gonna deep, deep, deep roast it. And then we're gonna do stovetop, just a nice quick saute. First things first, we're gonna get these big globe eggplants in the oven. If you are frying your eggplant, I do suggest cutting it, salting it, pressing it for sure because it's going to pull the excess water, which you don't want anything fuzzy or watery when you're frying something. But if you're going to saute it or roast it, I actually don't think it's necessary. It's an added step. It's more work. Get rid of it. When you see eggplant look like this, when it's all bruised up and looks like, oh my God, this is bad. That is not bad. This is just like perfect for the oven. So this is the simplest thing in the world. We're gonna make a, an eggplant dip that is like so simple. Cut this off, this part. You wanna get rid of these little ends here. We're just gonna literally poke it a bunch of times with the fork. This is a great time to have fun. I'm gonna spray these with just a little olive oil, like literally not much at all. Just get these nice and oiled up and we are gonna put these directly onto the grate. I know you're probably like, what? That is so weird. It's not weird. We have a pan underneath that is lined, so it's any kind of drippings or liquid that comes off, it'll have a place to go. 400 degrees, but literally we're gonna leave it in there and we're gonna forget about it. Like a whole hour, we're gonna do some other eggplant stuff. We are gonna saute some fairy tale eggplant. How cute are they? They are traditionally sweeter, much easier and faster to cook. They soak up a lot of flavor. I am gonna do something with eggplant that you don't hear about a lot. We're actually gonna add cinnamon to the sauce. Cinnamon is such an interesting thing and we don't use it in savory cooking enough and I think it really adds a really interesting flavor to the eggplant. So first things first, we're gonna take all the tops off and we're gonna cut these in pretty uniform pieces because we want them all to cook at the same rate. So we have cut our fairy tale eggplant just in half. You know, like it's okay if one is a little bit bigger than the other because for the most part, they're all kind of like the same size. You can see they're starting to turn brown. They oxidize pretty quickly, but it's fine because we're gonna cook these, dress them in some lemon. It's gonna be all good. So we're gonna do a ton of lemon. Put my hand under the lemon to keep the seeds from dropping in. You know, I love lemon zest. I just think it's flowery and just add completes flavors. I just love it. It's also a great way to use your entire ingredient. After we've done, we've microplaned an entire lemon and the juice of about a lemon and a half, depends on how juicy your lemons are. Now we're gonna microplane big piece of garlic, one big piece. I like microplaning because first off, it's easier. It's perfect, nice and uniform. We're also gonna salt this situation really, really good. I'm gonna add a smidge of maple, not gonna measure it. We're gonna be super intuitive with this, right? Well, probably like a teaspoon. For the sake of you all, I am going to measure my cinnamon. I like a teaspoon more or less. And we're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of Dijon as a nice emulsifier. I'm just gonna toss that in too. Bear with me with these flavors. We always, when we're doing a dressing, we add oils last. Get a good nice stir here. It's gonna take a minute for this to get nice and mixed up. So we're gonna do about a third a cup of oil and let this get nice and mixed up here. So I like things a little spicy, so I'm gonna add some crushed red pepper to this. It's a perfect mix. It's like a little acid, a little sweet, almost a little sour, which I really, really love. And it goes really well with this eggplant. We're gonna make some grains. Brown rice, millet, and quinoa, like a blended mix to go with our eggplant. Most of the time when you're making your grains, you're using just water. I really think it's wonderful to incorporate other flavors, whether it's a broth, whether you're throwing in some aromatics. What we're gonna do today is we're actually going to use tea. This is one cup. We're gonna throw that in. Two cups of tea. This is just ginger tea that's been brewed. Right in there. Oop. Goes right in. For all grains, for rice, for quinoa, remember this ratio. It is one cup of grain to two cups of liquid. I'm telling you it works every single time. So simple, two cups of liquid to one cup of grain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually throw a cinnamon stick in there. We're going to salt our situation and we are gonna turn this on boil. And once it boils, we're gonna put the lid on and let it cook on low. We are gonna cook our eggplant, our fairy tale eggplant. We're gonna do like medium high heat. And we're gonna take a little grape seed, just a little bit. So we're gonna drop one shallot right in there. We're gonna let this kind of do its thing for about two minutes. So we are gonna go right in. Our shallots, so just take the whole eggplant, just take it in there. Just give these a nice saute with the shallot. And we're gonna cook these for about 14 minutes. Season each step, nice little salt in there. We're gonna take just a few spoonfuls of our cinnamon sauce directly in. 
and it's gonna really soak up this flavor. And we're gonna keep this moving and cooking for a good two minutes. So while our grains are cooking, we are going to do our Japanese eggplant. We're gonna put these in the oven as well. We're gonna just simply cut them in half. We'll take these tops off. Okay. And I love these so much because they really, really are so much more delicate than like a globe. We're gonna do another whole poke situation. This is a great time to score your eggplant if you want. If you're trying to do something visually like show stopping, it's really beautiful to score your eggplant as so, but you do not have to do this. A fork also can work fine. So we're just gonna do a little drizzle and just a little salt. We are going to baste this with a delicious dressing that we're about to make right now. So we're just gonna pop these in the oven. Just move these eggplant. You see how they're starting to get drippy? and yummy. We're gonna put these eggplant right next to it. These are only gonna be cooking for about 20, 25 minutes total. Now we're gonna make our sauce. So we are gonna take, this is the juice of about two limes. We're gonna throw that in there. And then we are gonna take, I'd say about two tablespoons of coconut aminos. This is basically a soy-free, gluten-free type soy sauce replacement. Then we're gonna take a nice big tablespoon of miso, which I love. Another moment for our Dijon. I'm gonna take a nice teaspoon size of Dijon, throw it right in. And then we're gonna also do another teaspoon of maple because everything needs to have some sweetness in it for balance. And we're also going to add a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. We are gonna salt this and my favorite ingredient, we are gonna microplane some ginger, a good amount of ginger. I'd say about a two inch piece of ginger for sure. So it's cooked down perfectly, fluffy. That is literally the perfect quinoa texture. Voila. Drop a little green in here. We're gonna add a little bit more salt. Delicious, awesome. We're gonna let this hang out for a second. We're gonna come over here. So our quinoa is now cooked. We're gonna add a little bit of that cinnamony sauce to this quinoa. We're also gonna add some basil and some green onion. And we're also gonna add some fresh mint. So we're not gonna chop too much. We wanna keep these herbs nice and vivacious, so we don't want anything getting too gummy. We're gonna throw those in, and we are going to fluff. We're also going to make sure that we just season as well. So we're gonna take this entire thing, and we are gonna dress the plate. And now, we're gonna take our eggplant, the tongs here. We're gonna dress this with more sauce on top. Don't you worry. Delish. And these are toasted butternut squash seeds that I made this morning, and we are gonna add some texture with that. And also because I like spice, we're gonna add some spice. So we're just gonna drizzle on top, beautiful. And this is sauteed eggplant with cinnamon dressing. Delicious. So, with our sauce, we're gonna baste our eggplant. That sizzle, you hear that sizzle? And be very generous. This is your flavor component. Rotate our eggplant, almost done. You see how squishy that texture is? Almost done, beautiful. Cute. So now we are gonna do our glazed eggplant. We're gonna basically serve our glazed eggplant on some quick fire, right, right in the oil. Kale, I think this is a really yummy way to have some kale. Also get some nice like crispy bits on it, I love it. Just some kale here, we've just cut off the ends. We're gonna take it straight, boom. See that sizzle? Season this board. So you see our eggplant, and we have our kale, which is still nice and sizzly here. We're gonna dress our plate here, and we're gonna layer. So we'll take our beautiful eggplant pieces, and they're almost like candy at this point. Nice and tender, and then we're gonna layer in with herbs. We'll just drop it on, and then a little bit more kale. Nice little piece over there. Another piece of eggplant. This one too. This little piece. More herbs. And the mint and basil is really gonna pop with this yummy eggplant. I'll do another piece of eggplant right on top. We'll curl this little kale. What I love so much about this is you really haven't really done anything. You just cut the Japanese eggplant, roast it in the oven for 20 minutes, take the dressing on there a few times, boom. Because I love texture. We're gonna come through here with some hemp seeds. And this is like a delicious lunch. We had to throw some avocado in here. Voila. So good. 
It's sour, it's tangy, it's sweet, it's smoky, it's delicious. And what I love so much about it is that you really don't have to think much about it. And doing that kale, so you just take a little bit of oil, grapeseed oil, drop the kale in when the oil is really hot. It gets so tender, get a little texture on there. So good. Okay, look how shriveled up these babies got. We're gonna put these directly on the cutting board. Awesome, you see how much they've shrunk in size. So we're gonna let these cool for about 15 minutes and then take the skin off of them. So we are gonna do this eggplant dip. So I have peeled, it kind of makes a mess and honestly kind of into it. So the peel should come off pretty easy. We're gonna bring this whole eggplant sitch into here and we're just gonna lightly mash this. I like it when it's kind of chunky. You could bring this into a food processor. I don't want to. I think we should just leave it nice and chunky just like this. So I'm probably only gonna use one just to kind of show you an example. We're also gonna come in with a nice herb mixture. This is a mixture of basil, shallot, green onion, and mint. We're gonna keep it also kind of chunky. We're gonna throw that in, and we're just gonna mix it up here. Keep mashing it until it's about pretty uniform. I like when it's kind of chunky. I like knowing what things are. It's really nice when you know what you're eating. So I like the bits of eggplant in there. We are gonna create some texture. We're gonna add some coconut yogurt. You do not have to do this, or if you wanna add some tahini, delicious like a, a heaping tablespoon. We're gonna mix that in. Lemon zest, you guys know, this is one of my favorite ingredients. We've got some crackers here. This is an awesome, awesome thing to serve as a pass around, really great snack. Just a little bit of lemon here. And so honestly, this is it. It's so yummy all by itself. If you wanted to use this on a spread for like a sandwich or something open face, that would also be delicious. Let's go in. Wow, oh my gosh, that's super good. The lemon zest is so necessary. It is such a great finisher. Again, if you wanted to do this over stovetop, if you wanted to do those glow eggplants right over your gas or on a grill, awesome. But you saw doing it in the oven an hour, you're not even thinking about it, so good. Also, we did the fairy tale eggplant sauteed, that cinnamon dressing, really, really interesting way to do a green salad, which I love. And then we did our new take on the stir fry where we stir fried the kale and then did the eggplant in the oven as well. Another super low lift, 20, 25 minutes. Swipe that dressing on, super, super good. Really, really fast lunch. These are some new interesting ways that I think would be a really great way to appreciate eggplant, and especially when you're mostly seeing eggplant fried. I think a refresh of eggplant would suit for us all.